My name is Konstantin Budnik. I joined Van Disco about six weeks ago from Karmasphere. And before that, I was doing uh, Hadoop development at Yahoo and uh, uh, Cloudera. And uh, in OneDisco, I'm in charge of uh, Hadoop distribution, OneDisco Hadoop distribution, which is uh, not simply yet another Hadoop distribution, but an engine that allows us to deliver a very interesting uh, bleeding, bleeding edge, I would say, technologies to, to, to the Hadoop market. And these technologies are namely non-stop name node that my co uh, colleague Constantine will talk about a little bit later and uh, um, a technology that allows you to use um, Hadoop clusters for um, uh, private cloud. So basically the applications that are run on S3, technology, uh, S3 file system from Amazon could be seamlessly transferred to uh, Vandiska distribution using our proprietary S3 HDFS bridge. Um, among the other, and, uh, other advancements we, we put into the Hadoop distribution is a much better uh, user experience for, for cluster users. And uh, the main thing is that we are the first pretty much uh, commercial company that provides Hadoop 2 um, uh, support and Hadoop 2 based distribution of uh, the, the, the full Hadoop, Hadoop stack. So we are fully committed to open source. Um, we using uh, another Apache pro project called Big Top that I am one of the co-authors actually uh, to build a distribution. And uh, as, a, as a shameless plug, uh, we've built the, the full distribution from ground zero to the working commercial product in just 28 days using um, open source technologies, Big Top particularly. Thank you, Jeff. Um, so what we have here is the industry's first multiple active name node solution for HDFS. And we have three name nodes serving the entire data space. So what we're going to do is start TerraSort. The clients are going to connect to all three of the name nodes. Then we're going to kill one of the name nodes. We'll see TerraSort continue, fine, no interruptions. We'll see the other two name nodes pick up the load. And we'll see the dead name node flatline, basically. That's the demo. OK, what we have here are uh, three graphics applications showing the activity in each of the name nodes. They're showing um, RPC bytes in and bytes out. I've prepped it so we already have TerraGen data in the in the HDFS. I'm going to run TerraSort now, and we'll see the activity pick up. In the next few minutes, we'll see activity on the name nodes pick up. There we go. The orange lines indicate bytes sent, and the green lines are bytes received by the name nodes. Let's give it a few minutes to get really active. Then we'll go and do the unthinkable, which is to kill one of the name nodes. That's a catastrophic failure in most HDFS. In our solution, we simply switch to the other two name nodes, and life goes on. TerraSort is uninterrupted. Excellent. So obviously, you guys have been, been uh, putting a lot of hard work into this. Um, you know, as we kind of look forward uh, through the rest of the year, what are kind of what's on your roadmap in terms of uh, initial uh, development you're looking to add to the to the product? We have planned for a world file system. This is HDFS that runs across multiple data centers. The result is a single namespace that's spread across multiple data centers, and you can run your jobs on whichever data center is near your uh, data. The result is something like if you have a data center go down or multiple data centers go down, you can still have access to your data and you can still run your jobs. That's coming up next. We also have plans to use our active-active replication technology for the YARN resource manager and for the HBase master. Excellent. All right, great. Well, guys, obviously a lot more coming from Windisco this year, so keep your eyes peeled for what they're doing. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, signing off.